a really critical thing to realise is this is overall inflation. It's an average, but low-income households will face higher inflation. The IFS has actually said it could be up to 18% for poorer households because most of their budget is on food and energy. So we've also seen real wages plummeting, especially for public sector workers, frontline workers. So there's a lot of pain coming ahead of us in this winter. Is there some light, a glimmer of light, though, in the distance, in the future? How, how long are we going to have to put up with this? Um, well, I think it's all very uncertain because what's driving inflation is volatile oil and gas prices, like at the wholesale level, the war in Ukraine, obviously. But also um, not often talked about is global supply disruptions from the pandemic are still playing out. So it's really uncertain. Um, what is a problem is that we've, we're too dependent on fossil fuels. And this has made us powerless to bring down energy prices. And also we've seen obscene profits by uh, big oil and gas companies. Again, we need to take control of the energy market and we need to have more of a say in what prices we face and not leave it just to the market. Does that mean nationalisation? Is that what you're saying there? I think we, we can look at, in the long term, some form of collective ownership that might, you know, a model that sits alongside what we have. But really, we need to move away from fossil fuels. This is critical as a long term solution. Um, I think what I would say is the Chancellor today said we'd have to wait for a package of support. And this is just not good enough. People are really going to be suffering. And there are immediate things we can do apart from the long term investment changes. You know, we need to see targeted support to low income households. That, that includes sort of reinstating the £20 um, universal credit uplift, stop price caps rising and extend the windfall tax just straight away. There's no, there's really no excuse to, to not take these actions. And the problem we really face is the Bank of England is really impotent against what's causing inflation now. We've seen six consecutive rises in interest rates and inflation is still soaring. It's clear it's a you know, interest rate hikes are not working. It's a blunt and ineffective tool. So we need more action by the government.